almost my whole life being depressed. In 2013, it all went very, very sideways when I had a mental break. I had to agree to a psychiatric evaluation. That evaluation led me be diagnosed with bipolar 2 disorder. And I spent eight months being suicidal. And by that, I mean that every moment I was awake for eight months, my brain was trying to kill me. I literally couldn't stand it anymore. And I went and found a new doctor who put me on an anti-seizure medication called Lamotrigine. And three days later, it was like someone had switched the lights on in my life. And I experienced joy for probably the first time ever. I had joy for six months and then I became suicidal. Their response to that was to double the dose, and the joy returned. It was kind of magical. And so I had joy for six months, and then I became suicidal. I was also really, really angry that nobody on my medical team was asking the critical question. What is it that caused me to start having bipolar 2 disorder? I bumped into a doctor on Twitter who a lot of you may know, Dr. Ted Naiman. Dr. Naiman put me on a very hardcore ketogenic diet. And as a result of my DNA searches, I discovered that I have a genetic mutation called MTHFR, which means that when I ingest B vitamins, I can't do anything with them. With taking methylated B vitamins and going onto a ketogenic diet, I came off the Lamotrigine. I have been medication free and completely symptom free for three and a half years. My mission now is to talk about mental health openly because there's way too many people dying of suicide and there's way too many people who are suffering silently and I truly believe that there is a way that most of those can be at least put in remission, if not cleared completely.